How do you practice intermittent fasting during the holidays? So a lot of people wonder, like, how do you practice intermittent fasting during the holiday times? We get really stressed out because we don't want to gain weight and we're trying to figure out how can we work this uh, into the plan? Because a lot of times what happens in a traditional kind of diet plan is uh, the, the things that you're eating on that plan aren't really holiday type foods. Uh, but with intermittent fasting, or at least the way I practice it, it actually works really well with the holidays because I allow myself all the food all the time anyway. So there's not a big difference in what I eat during the holiday times versus what I eat uh, in, a, in a normal day. But there are some additional challenges during the holiday time. So in today's video, I'm just gonna talk about, you know, my philosophy and the strategies that I use during the holiday season. First of all, my overarching philosophy is the holidays are a time to enjoy yourself with, and enjoy your family and enjoy your friends. And yes, sometimes that means going off plan, eating outside your window. And so, and, and the thing is, is I do that. I, I intentionally go off plan a lot during the holiday season as a general rule. And I always focus on balance. And one big thing I focus on is not eating to misery and just simply stopping when I'm full. On the other hand, I try not to get too strict with myself and say I'm not going to go off plan at all because then I won't enjoy the time with my family. But the main overarching strategy I have is to be intentional. And it depends on the year. So I've had some years where I needed to go off plan a lot just because we had a lot of parties to go to, a lot of different family things. And then other years is, is less so. But I do still do things with my family. We go, you know, a lot of times we go look at Christmas lights and there might be something fun afterwards like ice cream or things like that. Or, you know, we're gonna do holiday baking and I'm not gonna feel guilty about any of it. And I even prepare myself for a possible gain if it looks like that for that year, it looks like I'm going to be off plan a lot but I mentally accept that consequence I look at you know here's how fast I'm losing weight and you know if I if I gain you know like three pounds let's say how long will it take me to lose that weight okay and then I'll just be okay with that what it looks like for me during the holiday season since I do oh man one meal a day there are a lot of times where I do end up eating you know twice that day I always give myself supper so if there's an event you know earlier in the day I'll eat in the earlier part of the day and then also my regular oh man time and if the party happens to be in the evening I'll just push my eating until the party and I'll just eat at the party but I'm a more experienced faster now in the beginning what I would do is I would go ahead and eat at the, my regular meal time and then I would additionally eat at the party. I am the type of person who I am going to eat at the party. I like to eat at the party. I do not like sitting there saying I'm not going to eat right now when people are saying hey please eat. But again that goes back to my personality and it's up to you how you want to handle that. And again I will be baking holiday cookies with my kids. We're going to sit around and watch movies and, and have a good time. We'll go look at Christmas lights and there will be lots of treats during December. But there will be some things that I can consistently do. The first one will be I will weigh every single day like normal and I will also continue to walk my six miles every single day. Those two things keep me accountable to my plan and it keeps me on track. If I were to stop weighing for the month of December I can guarantee you I would let it get way out of hand and I really wouldn't even know where I'm at which would cause me even additional stress. So now's a good time to sit down with yourself and figure out your strategy for the holidays. I would recommend you know, looking and seeing how many different parties you already have planned and go ahead and figure out what is your plan going into that. Are you going to push your meal time later to kind of accommodate for less off plan days? Or you might decide that you want to take, you know, some days just completely off, which is uh, one thing that I do sometimes. Again, it's about being intentional and then not having any guilt for enjoying time with your family. One last thing I would say is consider your personality too. Uh, the holidays are a time when there are a lot of parties and for us introverts, uh, those are not necessarily the uh, most enjoyable things. So, you know, I understand there are some parties you, you must go to, you know, um, and that you want to go to. Uh, but then there are some parties that are kind of optional and I would encourage you, don't feel guilty about saying, I don't want to go to that. And instead, if you just want to see those friends, then invite them over for a smaller gathering. I found that, you know, if I go to a lot of large gatherings where I feel uncomfortable, I tend to overeat. Um, and some, some strategies for that that I've found that are helpful are to 
get away in a little, you know, kind of out of the way corner at the party, give myself some, you know, kind of alone time. Um, if you can't really get away, uh, you can also just go to the bathroom and kind of hang out in there for a minute or two. Uh, I found that was really helpful. Like if I'm sitting there just eating and eating, if I go ahead and just go to the bathroom really quick, uh, it gives me a chance to say, oh, I'm actually really full. So then I would stop eating when I would get back to the party. So that's my plan with intermittent fasting in the holidays. I really have found that as far as, uh, you know, just in general being on plan goes, intermittent fasting is the easiest thing to stick with pretty consistently, even during the holidays. So I'm curious to know, what is your plan uh, for the holiday season? Are you gonna have a lot of off plan days? Are you gonna stick with the plan? I would encourage you if your plan is to never go off plan during the holidays, look back at previous uh, years and see if that strategy has worked out for you. Um, a lot of times what happened to me at least was I would say I'm gonna be really on plan and I'm not gonna go off plan at all and then I would go off plan and then it was like I was completely off course for the rest of the month. So uh, just leave it in the comments below. Uh, any kind of uh, helpful tips that you know of that I missed, uh, leave them in the comments below. Okay, thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below.